Hey guys, I'm Dominique and I am here today to do another hair tutorial. Man, it's been like 90 plus degrees for the past two and a half weeks, no lie, maybe three weeks. I've been out here burning up. Because of that, I've just been keeping my hair in this bun. I've been bunning it, straight bunning it and bumming it. I haven't done my hair in about two weeks. I haven't washed my hair in two weeks either. Don't judge me, it didn't go down like that. I don't wash my hair every single week. I don't. I know a lot of you guys have wash day every Sunday. You know, I'll, I didn't. <laughs> No, sometimes I wash it every week, sometimes every two weeks. Um, if I have a protective style in, I could go three and a half, four weeks without washing my hair. It's You just have to know your hair. Um, so yes, it doesn't stink. It's not, you know, it's dry. It's a little cracked now, but it's good. So yeah, I've decided that I actually want to start looking like something again. So I'm going to try this flexi rod set and we're gonna see how it goes. But just to get the moisture back into my hair for this style, I'm going to use Hair Infinity Strengthening Amino Mask. And this is supposed to work as like a deep conditioning treatment. Baby, she gonna get them juices flowing. Those juices, not any other kind of juices. I don't know what y'all want. I'm gonna go ahead on and wash my hair Put this on my hair, let it sit for a minute or two, rinse it out, and then I'm gonna get to styling. All right. Okay, so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. It looks really dry because it is. I'm gonna part it into five sections and then go ahead and apply the Amino um, Hair Infinity Mask. So I like to apply a generous portion to my hair just because I wanna make sure I get all of my ends covered. So I just go in with my comb and distribute the product um, from root to tip all the way to my ends. And I can honestly already tell the difference. My hair feels really slick and it's uh, absorbing the conditioner really well. So I think this is gonna be a juicy perm rod set. Okay, so once I'm finished combing it through my hair, I just go ahead on and use a shower cap, put that on my hair, and I'm going to let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. I know y'all can't tell the difference, but I can. My hair is a lot softer than what it was before the, the mask was applied, and honestly, it's so easy to part my hair. I didn't really even need to use the comb. At one point, I just started parting with my hands. So right now, I'm just sectioning my hair into six sections um, so that I can go ahead and start with the perm rods. So I'll be using Cantu Leave-In Conditioner, IC Plus Aloe Vera Gel, and Olive Oil for this style. What I start off doing is putting a Cantu and Olive Oil in each big section, and then from there I'll part into smaller sections and add the IC Plus Aloe Vera Gel. That just helps me to like not use too much product per section of my hair. Okay, so I start off by parting one big section in half. From there, I'm gonna take that lower part and I'm gonna part that in half again. For some of them, I parted them into three parts. So I would have three big parts instead of two. Either way, it doesn't matter. I just wanted big parts because I ain't got time to be sitting here all night doing this. All right, so, so right here, I'm evenly distributing the gel throughout this part of my hair. And then I'm going in with the perm rod. So initially, I started wrapping my hair around the bottom half of the the rod and I realized that that just didn't look good the curls didn't look good at all so I only did like two of them that way and the the rest of my head I did in a different way and I think that one works better um okay, so I have reached my last part um I'm just evenly distributing the gel I'm brushing it out and this is how I did majority of my perm rods I started from the bottom where that little string thing is hanging and I wrapped my hair going upward, not downward. And um, I realized that the curls just seemed better, okay? So right here, I'm just letting you know to twist the perm rod inward and the little string thing, you're gonna pull it on the 
outer side to close, not inward, if that makes sense. So I slept with these overnight and took them out first thing in the morning. I'm unraveling these in the opposite direction of the curl. And honestly, they're looking really good and they're super bouncy. Yes. Okay, here's a close-up of the curls unseparated. They look super good. Um, from here, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to my hands and kind of pat down my curls just to make sure that I won't get any extra frizz as I'm taking them down. And you guys know the drill. We take our time in this process, unravel, separate each curl individually. Um, I usually separate the curls into about three smaller curls. So I'm using a little rake to kind of fluff out my curls this time instead of using a pick. Um, it works the same way to me. Um, and then I go in with my hands and kind of just play with them a little bit, fluff them out, get a little bit extra volume, make them feel at home. And then I get my little shake in because the shake is necessary. I think it just helps make my hair a lot more fluffy. And that's it guys. Okay y'all, so my curls came out super bouncy and soft. Look at that luster. If you guys like this style, you love this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. All right, bye.